ECF is actually a funny story. I didn't want to come to Davis at all. I had no desire to go to a school where I'd have to put like effort to get good grades. And so I wanted to go to like a private Christian school on a beach. And then God was like, God wrecked that plan entirely. And um, he really made it clear that I needed to come to Davis, but I was really, really scared. And then I took the step of faith and then I was like, I'm gonna go. And then the week after um, I was at church and then I just like really had a pee, so I went to the bathroom. And then I walked out of the bathroom, and then I ran into a random guy wearing a UC Davis shirt. And I went up to him, and I was like, yo, is that a UC Davis shirt? And he was like, yes, it is. And I was like, well, really? Like, I'm going there next year. And then he was like, really? And then he was like, hi, I'm Will. I'm the pastor of campus ministry. Wow. It was like pretty God ordained, and from the beginning I've been coming. It has been everything. <laughs> I have one more question for you. So, what do you feel like something? Uh, what is something that you feel like DCF has taught you during your time? Um, so I really battle. I really battled a lot, like first quarter and even just through high school, with like intrusive thoughts and anxiety. And I would always get thoughts that are like, "I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not strong enough," and that would just like attack me all the time something that I've really learned here is that God is just so good Woo. and um, I've been really learning how to fight that battle and um, just like every day have waking up choosing to believe truth if a, a thought comes into my head that's negative just attaching truth to it um, and yeah that is like the biggest thing I've been learning and just being surrounded by such amazing community that has just like <coughs> lifted me up in those times it's just been everything and can you tell us what you'll be performing today? I'm going to be uh, singing a song called House on a Hill by Amanda Cook. And, um, I'm going to be playing the guitar. And it's kind of funny because I, I started playing the guitar like a few months ago because um, I needed a way to like just, um, just sing my heart out and learn to praise in the middle of a storm. And you couldn't, I grew up playing the piano. Um, but obviously you couldn't really bring a piano in the dorms because it wouldn't really fit. So um, I learned how to play the guitar and yeah. Yay! Come on, Leah! Woo! 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 Uh, It is quiet in this house upon a hill. Sure, my days, some things you can't know till you're still in the silence. The way you're spinning thoughts around in the stillness. Things have a way of working out. Allow me. To introduce myself again, I'm the one who held you before time began, and I've been waiting for you to let me be your friend. And everything you ever need is everything I am. I am. And I am. Chances. There's nothing here to lose. Ask your questions. I promise you the truth as you're ready. I want to heal your arms. Is it heavy? Where all the wounds have left a mark. Allow me to introduce myself. Again, I'm the one who's been there every place you've ever been, and I'm the one who had you when you come instead. And if you're wondering who can heal your broken days, I can, and I can, and I can. This house. 
on a hill how I want to show you I am real allow me to introduce myself again I'm the love you used to think could not exist and I'm sure so where you stand in and as free as a wind and you don't have to reach for me cause this is where I am and I